Randall and Luda Ford serve the Lord in Israel and live in the greater Jerusalem area. They have a great story to tell about following up on Israelis who have responded to our Isaiah 53 Hebrew online Facebook campaigns. I'm sure their testimony will encourage you. Mitch, thank you so much for this opportunity. We're thrilled to be able to speak about what's been going on here in Israel. Uh, we're uh, Randall and Luda living near Jerusalem. We've been back in the land for about four years. We lived here in the past. And we can say from our experience many years ago when we were here, uh, that there is a very different atmosphere today. People are open, they're listening, they're, they're uh, in asking intelligent questions, they're curious about the gospel. Well, the Isaiah 53 project has been just a, a, a great thing to help all of us here to share. And uh, for example, uh, just like the other day, we called uh, four people from uh, that, you know, and uh, three of them wanted us to come and visit them. What happens is that folks are ordering from the internet uh, Hebrew Isaiah 53 uh, book, and then they uh, very often are happy to have follow-up. That's one of the questions that we ask them. And then uh, we, together with many of our colleagues, are, are, are making these follow-up calls. Folks answer their phone here. There are not so many annoying uh, robocalls and stuff like that. And we've just had amazing results. Well, I want to tell you one story. And Luda, Luda and I were in this together because he was a, a young person, a young single person, and he kind of liked that both of us would be on the call. Usually I would do most of the talking and then Luda would be there. And, and he wanted to know more about the gospel. He said, yeah, I got the book, I'm really interested. And we decided that we'd meet once a week. So we um, would talk once a week and, and study something from the Bible, something from the New Testament. And after some five weeks or so of doing that, I said, hey, would you like to receive Jesus to invite him into your life, to commit yourself to follow him and to ask him to forgive you for your sins? And he said, yes, he would. So we'll be sharing about baptism. It's so amazing, like one lady we called um, her name is Giselle, and she just said, Wow, I've read that book three times, and I'm just so amazed. I'm not sure yet, but I'm so amazed. So anyway. Yeah, the ladies that Luda's called, it's been awesome, and we've had this wonderful response. We'd like to just mention a couple of items that you could be praying for us. Uh, we thought mostly of our daughter. She's 17 and she'll be graduating from high school next year. And when she graduates, she'll go into the military together with two of her, her um, compatriots from our youth group. And we have, uh, actually there'll be four of them next year, but this year there are three. And so. also, uh, there are about, yeah, like Randall said, there are about four of them. Uh, they all meet, uh, we meet in our home and uh, it's a youth group, so please pray for them all as they go. Yeah, this is a place that challenges the faith of the young people. So they really need you to uphold them in prayer. Thank you and God bless you. God bless.